Ah, after 10,000 Power Ranger television spin-offs, I'm free. Time to review this game. Seriously, there have been 10,000 Power Ranger TV shows. That's not an over-exaggeration. Literally 10,000. There's the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the one that everyone knows. Then you had, like, Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers, Power Rangers Zeo, um... Power Rangers Turbo, Power Rangers in Space, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, I guess that's the one based off of this game, but the other way around, Power Rangers Time Force, Power Rangers Wild Force, Ninja Storm, Dino Crisis, Power Rangers Mystic Force, Power Rangers SPD, Power Rangers Operation Overdrive, Power Rangers Jungle Fury, <laughs> Power Rangers Jungle Fury. Jesus Christ, there's literally Power Rangers in every square block of the universe. Like, there is a patrol of Power Rangers everywhere. There is more Power Rangers now than actual people. Like, the population of the Earth is like 7 billion or something, and there's like 8 billion Power Rangers. So we're all incredibly safe right now. For every one person on Earth, there's a Power Ranger to protect you from uh, Rita Repulsa and her minions. Man, there's a lot of Power Ranger crap. And, well, this is kind of crap, this game. It's like an action-adventure platforming beat-em-up. It doesn't handle that well. The, the platforming is a complete joke. Like, the jumping is so stiff and awful. And it feels like the Power Rangers are jumping like half a foot up into the air. I feel like an old granny could jump better than the Power Rangers. And yes, that's me getting stuck in the environment. This Power Ranger can't climb over a car. Jesus Christ. What a pathetic superhero. They have like good, um, powerful attacks and good kicks and good punches, and the combinations look good. The problem is, it doesn't flow well. It, a lot of times, while it looks good, it doesn't look good when you're actually hitting someone. A lot of times, it doesn't look like you're actually swinging at the enemy, like you're missing the enemy, and there's not a good sequence, there's not a good flow. So it doesn't feel very choreographed. It's just very choppy combat. All you have to really do is block, and the, I mean, all the Power Rangers have this magical block. They just stand there putting their hands out, and it makes them invulnerable to attack for some reason. And then the enemies have the same thing. If you just stand there blocking, it's like you're made out of some kind of super powerful steel that just can't be penetrated. So you block when the enemy attacks, and then you hit the enemy. It's, it's nothing like real Power Rangers. I mean, I, I, I would assume... A good Power Ranger game would be something like you can uh, I, maybe dodge out of the way, jump out of the way of enemy attacks. Here, the best strategy is to just stand there and block like you're the Hulk and not an agile ninja Power Ranger. I mean, you can kind of like dodge, if you want to call it dodge, like do these rolls left and right, but these are so gimped. They look awful. They look just like rolls from uh, The Mummy, if you remember my review of uh, that PS1 quote unquote classic. These rolls are completely useless. You really all you need to do to avoid enemy attacks is just stand there and block and you become the Iron Man who can't be hit. There are good things in the game, like the game is pretty big, the levels are big, there's actual objectives like rescuing people, you're not just running around like a maniac just punching enemies in the face for no reason. Uh, the music and the sound effects are decent as well and also you can play as all the rangers, you know, the blue, yellow, whatever, red ranger. And all the rangers actually have their own attacks and also their own attributes. Like, the red ranger is stronger, the pink ranger is faster. So it actually matters which ranger you choose. They play very differently. I find that the ranger's attacks are pretty much stiff, especially when enemies are attacking you and you're standing there and blocking. So it's advantageous to just pick the ranger that hits the hardest. That's all you really need, to hit hard. The the speed, the, like the agility attribute, I don't even know what the point of that is. I guess you run fast or something. It's not necessary. It's like, it doesn't matter. This is definitely a game for some teenagers with attitude. But for everyone else, it's just a mediocre waste of time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more classic game reviews. Goodbye, my friends.